Hi, I'm General Pohl and welcome to my guide on the Victoria 3 Game Converters. This is an update to my original Paradox Game Converters guide, which didn't include Victoria 3 as it wasn't released at the time. So you've just finished your E4 game, but you want to continue on. This will show you how to convert your save game into a Victoria 3 mod. The first thing you have to do is go to the Paradox Game Converters GitHub page, link is in the description, and navigate to the E4 to Victoria 3 section. On the right hand side you will see a link to the latest release. Click on that link. Details on the latest changes will be displayed. Scroll down to the bottom to the assets section and download either the EXE version which will install it for you or the zip file version which you will have to extract yourself. Once installed or extracted, open the relevant folder and right click on the converter front end EXE and select run as administrator. Your PC may give you a warning prompt here, allow and continue and the converter UI should open. If it feels open, it may be due to your antivirus. In that case, add the EXE to your exclusion list. So let's go down through the available options. First we have the EU4 documents directory, then the EU4 install directory. Next it's the Victoria 3 install directory, followed by the Victoria 3 mod directory. This is where the generated mod will be located. Finally we have the path to EU4 save game. You can select your save by clicking on the button with the three dots. Moving to the mod tab, we have no options to select, so let's continue on to the options tab. The first option is selecting the starting bookmark. You have the option of the standard 1836 Victoria 3 start or the dynamic start, which uses the date of your EU4 save. This is useful if you didn't play all the way to 1836. Next is delete releasables. Three options this time, none, dead and all. I normally leave this at dead. State population is next. Options are to stick with vanilla pop sizes, dev push for more people, I normally use this option, and super regional. Population shaping factor is next. I just leave this one at 100. Make world Eurocentric. It's recommended to use the imperialism option, but I sometimes opt to use the EU4 institutions especially if there are strong non-European nations in my game so I don't cripple them. Next option is any conversion in EU4 converts provinces. Two options, gradually and immediately. I stick to the recommended gradually. Craft world economy method is next. The options are to use westernization status, use per capita dev with vanilla pops and use per capita dev with converted pops. Downgrade to high tier countries is next with yes and no options. Next is split trade companies into subjects with options to use the E4 trade regions, stick to super regions and no. Last we have the mod output name. This is optional and will be used for your generated mod and playlist. Now move to the convert tab and click on the convert save button. Any errors will be detailed here, which you then can troubleshoot. Okay, the converter has completed, so let's open Victoria 3. You can see a new playset has been generated containing the mod. You can edit this playset if you want to add additional mods. Just remember to stick to visual mods as others may break the converter mod. Run Victoria 3 and start a new game. You can see the world looks a bit different now. So that's how to convert your E4 save to play in Victoria 3. 100 years has passed and now you want to convert your Victoria 3 game into Hearts of Iron 4. So let's go back to the Paradox Game Converters GitHub page, link is in the description, and navigate to the Victoria 3 to Hearts of Iron 4 section. On the right hand side you will see a link to the latest release, click on that link. Details on the latest changes will be displayed, scroll down to the bottom, to the assets section and download either the EXE version which will install it for you or the zip file version which you'll have to extract yourself. Once installed or extracted, open the relevant folder and right click on the converter front end EXE and select run as administrator. Your PC might give you a warning prompt here, click on more info and click on run anyway and the converter UI should open. If it fails to open it may be due to your antivirus. In that case, you might need to add the EXE to your exclusion list. So let's go down through the available options. 
First we have the Hearts of Iron 4 install directory, then the Victoria 3 Steam mod directory, next it's the Victoria 3 install directory, followed by the Victoria 3 mod directory. Then it's the Hearts of Iron 4 mod directory, this is where the generated mod will be located. And finally we have the path to the Victoria 3 save game. You can select your save by clicking on the button with the three dots. Moving to the mod tab, we have no options to select, so let's continue on to the options tab. There isn't too many options here either, as the converter is still in development. I leave the debug option at no. We then have the mod output name. This is optional and will be used for your generated mod and playlist. And finally, we have dynamic resources with the yes and no options. I leave this at yes. Now move to the convert tab and click on the convert save button. You can see the progress and any errors will be detailed here. Okay, the converter has completed, so let's open Hearts of Iron 4. You can see a new playlist has been generated containing the mod. You can edit this playlist if you want to add additional mods, just again remember to stick to visual mods as others may break the converter mod. Run Hearts of Iron 4 and start a new game. Once the game loads, you will see your converted Victoria world. So that's how to convert your Victoria 3 save to play in Hearts of Iron 4. If you found this tutorial useful, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.